Hey everybody, film critic Tom Santilli with Movie Show Plus. I have exciting news. I'm gonna be hosting a new film series coming to the Maple Theater. It's called The Movies That Made Me. The concept is simple. Every time I pick a spotlight guest and that guest will pick a film that they love. A film that was influential to them, whether in childhood, their professional career, or their adult life. We won't know what the movie is. It'll be a surprise. And once we view it, we will have that guest in theater for a live Q&A. We have the first couple ones lined up. My very first guest is none other than Red Wings legend Darren McCarty. You can come out to the Maple Theater Wednesday, April the 19th. The movie starts at 6.30, followed by the Q&A. You can get tickets now at themapletheater.com. We have another Movies That Made Me lined up in May with Star Wars artist Matt Bush. I don't want you to miss the Movies That Made Me. My first initial reaction when I read this was, this is brave. This is original. This is unique. I need to get out of a toxic relationship. You have the most narcissistic boss imaginable, who is also a powerful, blood-sucking vampire. Hello, Renfield. Marvelous attire. The codependency is toxic, but there's a level of love there. Care, feeding. You're like the guy that gets the villain's postmates. Is it yummy? Yeah. Horror and action and comedy all existing in one movie. We are punching heads off. Blood, car chases. Fireworks. And then you get me looking like this, being an absolute maniac. People love horror, but what's going to really pull them into this is the humor. And as they're laughing... You can hit that bullseye of comedy and horror. You've got something quite special, quite delicious. Let's eat. Hey guys, meet Ahmed, our new interpreter. Why oh, he wants this job? I need the money. Money isn't the reason he wants this job. The Taliban killed his son. What do we do when someone saves our life? John, we're going home. John and Ahmed are put into an extraordinary circumstance. There are two men that need each other to survive, and that's the beauty of it. We owe that man your life. I'm gonna have to get him out myself. It's an inspiring concept, what one person's prepared to do for another. When push comes to shove. Like any great action movie, at the heart of it is a real relationship, and I think in the end, you will be moved. guys how are you both so great hey, how are you doing Greg, how are you good good to see you again always fun and gotta tell you so is this movie it just brought back so many memories of you know playing that game and i'm quite sure it had to be the same for both of you you know thinking back to when you were a kid chris start with you little did you ever know you were going to grow up and become one of the mario brothers. <laughs> i knew i knew yeah <laughs> first time i played i said you know what i have a feeling that in about mm, 34 years from now, <laughs> <laughs> they're going to make this uh, a big animated yeah. movie. Um, wow, yeah, no. My mind was blown. I, I've joked at saying that, you know, there was this wishing well at the, like, Azteca Mexican restaurant in our little hometown. Yeah. And I used to go there and take a stick and pull quarters out. <laughs> and then I would go to the laundromat and play Mario Brothers, the arcade version. What a move. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I'm not proud of it. But I, hey. I think that maybe I took someone's wish no 
Well, the wish has already been sealed once it hits the water. Is that true? Yeah, you okay. can recycle the coins. Okay, great, great. Well, yeah. there you go. <laughs> well, great. How about you, Charlie? I mean, you know, thinking the same thing, just like. Never in my life would I imagine being in this situation. <laughs> so, yeah, totally thrilled with the chance to be uh, Luigi. And uh, as I've said before, you know, my sister, I have an older sister. She always got to go first. She was always Mario. I always had to be Luigi. Ah. And, uh, you know, maybe as a child, I resented it. But now I really, really appreciate it. And it's all it's come full circle. That, that, that it has. That it has. And the other good part is, you know, just by playing the game and, you know, growing up with it as well. You get to see in this movie, to an extent, the very beginning of how the game got started. I mean, right. that was something great, Chris. Oh yeah, thank you. Yeah, that was. I think they did a great job. Aaron, Michael, uh, Aaron Horvath, and, and Michael Jelinek, who directed and, and created this, uh, the movie version of this. I mean, we've all, we've known these characters for years. Like I said, thirty, almost forty years that these that Mario has been floating around in the in the minds of and then the hearts of all of us. And uh, they wanted to craft a, a ninety minute narrative. To kind of explain who these guys are, what they're about, and and you get to see that now, and it's very, it gives me a lot of hope. Thinking not only are we going to be introduced, hopefully, to many Mario movies, but also maybe like a whole Nintendo cinematic universe. I mean, all of these characters that I loved playing growing up, I'm like, come on, let's see, let's see, who, where's that Zelda movie? Where's that Metroid movie? Yeah. You know, like where? How are yeah. these? Is that going to happen? I don't know. I'm pumped though, but I'm I'm super thrilled to be uh, Mario, and and that now there's a, a story. You know, you get right. a little bit more. It's cool. And the other cool part, Charlie, is the movie is for kids. I mean, I can't wait to take my grandson to see it. He loves, you know, Mario World and Land and everything about it. But there's also enough in it for the adults to sit back and just kind of laugh as well. So kind of like this nice family movie. Yeah, that's always the trick when when you can entertain the kids and also keep the adults entertained as well. But a, a lot of us uh adults were kids when the game came out and it's been a while and uh we're the adults now bringing our kids to the movies so there's something nice about getting to share in the experience i have a son who's i'm bringing to the premiere and there's something nice about getting to share my childhood experience with him who and him uh in a way having a similar uh relationship to to Super Mario Brothers. Fellow University of Detroit Mercy Titan. Hey Keegan. Hey go Titans. You Hi got Greg, it. how are you? Good, man. How about it's you? It's good to see you. Always great to see you. Yeah. And had so much fun just watching this movie. Can't wait to take my grandson to see it because he loves the Super Mario Brothers. Uh -huh. And I just think, like for yourself, growing up here in Detroit, probably as a kid, you were playing the game. Could yep. you have imagined that you would be in this? <laughs> it, no, no. That, it, it, this is kind of one of these crazy dream come trues that you wouldn't even have dreamt. You, you know what I mean? The, the, it's a, a dream that you didn't even have that came true. Um, it, it's such a universal game. People love this game world worldwide. It 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 uh, they love the world. They love the games plural, I should say. Yeah. And I, I I'm just so honored to be a part of it. I really really am. And, and I mean I know you've done you know been in animated features before, but yeah. this just had to be you know again just a great time playing Toad. I mean it's funny. I know how tall you are, but then the <laughs> character you're playing. He's like my height, you know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're right. And I get to play. It's funny. I get to play the smallest of all the characters. I mean, he's 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 small but mighty. You know what I mean? He's small but fierce, and that's the thing is that he's so. I just love Toad. He's he's um has this kind of indefatigable energy. He just really wants to be. He wants to be in the thick of it, and he wants to defend his homeland, and he wants to be on an adventure. He doesn't care what comes his way. He just wants to be on an adventure more than anything. And I think it would be. That would, that's something, that's a characteristic I wish I had in myself, you know? Right, right. And the other good part is, like you said, you know, we all grew up with the game. But watching this movie, we see the genesis of how the game got started. Yeah, exactly. I, I love the, I, here's my thing. Greg, I love an origin story. And that's one of my favorite parts about this movie is that it is an origin story. And also the sequences are so cool because they, it looks like the game has come to life in a three-dimensional yeah. way. You know what I mean? You know, right, when you right. watch like like a Mario's training sequence, I don't want to give too much away to people, but mm -hmm. it, it just has that great that great feel where you go, oh my gosh, this is what the game would be like if it was a living thing, you know? Yeah. Now, I dare say after you got done, you know, doing your recordings, did you go home and play the game? Um, I, well, I, you, know what, you know what game I did play? I exactly. went back and played the original Donkey Kong. 
Oh, okay. Yes. That, because I, that, that was my favorite game when I was growing up. And I love uh, the, that, that, that first appearance of Mario with his, you know, with his hammer and, his, and right. hitting, the, hitting the barrels and jumping over the yeah. barrels and everything like that. But then, and then I did, I started playing my little, um, I have a little tiny, like, like little tiny Game Boy that I still have that I'll play, that I play the game on. And I do the I same thing. My... The Nintendo uh, DTS, the little one. Yeah. And yeah, I'll just be in the car sometimes, not driving. But, you know, <laughs> <laughs> and playing it. And that's the other good part about all these characters. I mean, they are a part of all of our lives. Yeah. It's like, you know, watching a whole movie to an extent. It is like, a, that's a really good way of putting it. It is like watching a home movie. I think you're absolutely right. Because everybody has some kind of specific memory attached to the Super Mario Brothers world. And, uh, you know, I'm no exception. But I think it's 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 going to be such, I, I really feel like it's going to be a hit. And, and that people all over the place are going to love to see this. And take their, like you said, take your grandson, take your son, mm -hmm. take your son's nephew, take your nephew's <laughs> son. Right? <laughs> take everybody. Because everybody has something that they can they can latch on to in regard to this world. Well, thank God we got a big enough car. I'll put them all in. Keegan, there you go. my fellow Detroiter, always a pleasure seeing you. Thank you so much and look forward to seeing you in person soon. You, you too, Greg. Take care, man. Good to see you your guys. It's been 22 years since we started this saga. How did we get so lucky to come so far? This family is ready to come back together. It's a dream come true. I mean, it's definitely a bucket list for sure. Boom. We're at the apex of this franchise. Fast. Oh! The heart and soul of the Fast and Furious franchise boots on the ground, on location. The more movies we make, the bigger they get. We continue to outdo ourselves. Because we owe it to our fans. The enormity of everything hits you like a right hand to the jaw. You still know how to drive? Every time I'm on set, I have to pinch myself. I am now a Toretto. You are now a Toretto. I just have been badgering them to participate in this. It's such an honor to be part of this family. That's the problem with having such a big family. How do you choose the ones you save? We're so lucky to be able to continue this saga for all of you. I'm the dude, so that's what you call me. That or, uh, you know, El Duderino, if you're not into the whole brevity thing. Guess we can close the file on that one. Hey everybody, film critic Tom Santilli with Movie Show Plus. I have exciting news. I'm gonna be hosting a new film series coming to the Maple Theater. It's called The Movies That Made Me. The concept is simple. Every time I pick a spotlight guest and that guest will pick a film that they love. 
a film that was influential to them, whether in childhood, their professional career, or their adult life. We won't know what the movie is. It'll be a surprise. And once we view it, we will have that guest in theater for a live Q&A. We have the first couple ones lined up. My very first guest is none other than Red Wings legend Darren McCarty. You can come out to the Maple Theater Wednesday, April the 19th. The movie starts at 6.30, followed by the Q&A. You can get tickets now at themaplethater.com. We have another Movies That Made Me lined up in May with Star Wars artist Matt Bush. I don't want you to miss the Movies That Made Me. Hey, Greg Russell here from Movie Show Plus. Enjoying being here at the Foundation Hotel this week. We've been taking the show on the road quite a bit. Now, if you've got a business that you would like us to showcase, just let us know. Get in touch with us via our website right here, MovieShowPlus.com, and we'll get back with you. And hey, who knows? You might be the next movie star right here on Movie Show Plus. Our goal is pretty simple. I want to help you get what's in here and just splash it onto there. Don't worry, it's not rocket science. It's harder. Thanks for going to a special place with me. Carl Narkel. Cut it. That tree is probably too tall. Brace yourself, you are gonna get some calls about that. I fell in love with a painter. Um, maybe a year before I met my husband. So that'll tell you how that went. <laughs> but, um, boy, was I in, I was just in love with his potential. Yeah. And if he hadn't just walked out of my life and cut all contact off and just ghosted me, I would still be pining for him. I think men particularly being afraid that they're going to become irrelevant is something that has been a kind of a scourge on our whole society. <laughs> I'm going to take it even bigger, which is yeah. that we belittle and minimize age and wisdom in our culture and that we laud youth, uh, which we should. I mean, fresh ideas are good ideas, but if we stop uh, making people feel like age is somehow a bad thing, then I think the two can exist harmoniously <laughs> a little more. You know why I don't care what people say about me? <laughs> PBS Burlington. Carl stole my newspaper. Yes, we're aware that Carl is stealing newspapers. Please hold. New in the trailer park this week, I am very excited to share with you the trailer for an independent sci-fi film. You don't hear those words usually put together in the same sentence, but... Uh, the impossible is always possible when you're talking about Matt Bush. Matt Bush, uh, local Detroit guy, uh, and he is just a phenomenal, phenomenal artist and talent. He is bringing to us a new trilogy of films that he's been working on for a decade. Uh, and he just recently released his very first trailer for the film Aladdin 3477. It's a film that you can help support Check out Matt Bush, uh, look up Aladdin 3477. But without further ado, I'd like to share with you the trailer, the first trailer for Aladdin 3477. and you stole my vintage hollow projector. I can explain everything. Yeah, you and your stupid Radiohead robot. Hey, I like to recycle.
Oh sure. Regal monarchs and maharajas handpicked by my father? My life is brimming with romance. We're better than this, Fiji. We belong up there. Miles Morales. I'm Brooklyn's one and only Spider-Man. And things are going great. Oh yeah, you were supposed to be here five. All right, whatever. Whatever? Wow. Whatever? So are you like a cow or a Dalmatian? I am the spot. <laughs> it's not funny. Don't, don't do that. Miles's grades are pretty good. A in AP Physics. That's my little man. And a B in Spanish. What? Ooh, okay. Miles. Are you trying Mira, to kill that's what I I gotta go. All right, have a good bye. He's lying to you. And I think you know it. What's up, danger? Miles! Wanna get out of here? Oh! When? So wait a minute. There's an elite crew with all the best spider people in it? Right. Who's the new guy? This is unbelievable. This is the lobby. Miguel O'Hara. The whole thing was his idea. What's a guy gotta do to join this spider team? You can never be part of this. Don't even get me started on Doctor Strange and the little nerd back on Earth 1999-99. Come on, go easy on the kid. He had a terrible teacher. Peter. Bye. Mayday. You have a baby? I have a baby. No, 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 no. I'll take it from here. Miles, being Spider-Man is a sacrifice. You have a choice between saving one person and saving every world. <gasps> Send me home. I can't do that. I can do both! Spider-Man, always! Not always. What about Uncle Ben? If not for Uncle Ben, most of us wouldn't be here. Can't stop me now! You can't run forever, kid! I can't lose one more friend. Miguel, this isn't what we talked about! You knew? You had no idea what you're doing! Everyone keeps telling me how my story is supposed to go. Nah. I'm gonna do my own thing. All stations, stop Spider-Man. You, you know what me? And then I looked at my uncle and... Uh, let me guess. He died? You're not here. We're not there. The car exploded. Come get the girls. I have to stay here with Woodrow. I'm not the chauffeur. I'm the grandfather. Where are you? Asteroid City, Farm Route 6, Mile 75. Last train. Junior stargazers and space cadets. Each year, we celebrate Asteroid Day, commemorating September 23rd, 3007 BC, when the arid plains meteorite made Earth impact. Only Toledo, that's Mitch Campbell. You were very good in the one about the tramp in the brothel Thank who you. gets amnesia and Thank becomes you. a pediatrician. You were very awesome. Actually, maybe my favorite character ever. I don't know why nobody else liked it. Oh. What do those pulses indicate? What? 
Oh, the beeps and blips? We don't know. Some of our information about outer space may no longer be completely accurate. Anyway, there's still only nine planets in the solar system as far as we know, Billy. Except now there's an alien. What's happening now? I don't know. I don't like the way that guy looked at us. The alien. How did he, how did he look? Like we're doomed. Maybe we are. I've just informed the president. How long can they keep us in Asteroid City legally? The world will never be the same. That's an alien doing jumping jacks. That's an alien in a top hat. What's out there? The meaning of life. Maybe there is one. Are you married? I'm a widower. But don't tell my kids. You're saying our mother died three weeks ago. Let's say she's in heaven, which doesn't exist for me, of course, but you're Episcopalian. In my loneliness, I learned to give complete and unquestioning faith to the people I love. I don't know if that includes you, but it included my daughter and your four children. Sometimes I think I feel more at home outside the Earth's atmosphere. Oh, wow. Me too. They're strange, aren't they? They're children. Compared to normal people. Yes, that's correct. It's true. Freight train, freight train, going so fast. Freight train, freight train. I do a nude scene. You want to see it? Huh? Did I say yes? You didn't say anything. Uh, I meant yes. My mouth, my mouth didn't speak. Hey, everybody. Film critic Tom Santilli with Movie Show Plus. I have exciting news. I'm going to be hosting a new film series coming to the Maple Theater. It's called The Movies That Made Me. The concept is simple. Every time I pick a spotlight guest, and that guest will pick a film that they love, a film that was influential to them, whether in childhood, their professional career, or their adult life. We won't know what the movie is. It'll be a surprise. And once we view it, we will have that guest in theater for a live Q&A. We have the first couple ones lined up. My very first guest is none other than Red Wings legend Darren McCarty. You can come out to the Maple Theater Wednesday, April the 19th. The movie starts at 6.30, followed by the Q&A. You can get tickets now at themapletheater.com. We have another Movies That Made Me lined up in May with Star Wars artist Matt Bush. I don't want you to miss the Movies That Made Me. Check out MovieshowPlus.com to watch this episode online. And for exclusive content, extended interviews with Greg Russell, and a complete archive of movie reviews with Tom Santilli. Also, make sure to like and follow us on social media and on our Movie Show Plus YouTube channel.